Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm about to show you how you can fix crashing and black screen in Black Ops Cold War. Now this is a very annoying problem. You can't play the game obviously and uh, this it's now just a painful experience because you have to find ways to fix the game. So I have a couple of ways to fix this problem. I tried myself and now let's jump right into the video. I can't guarantee you this will work but it it worked for me, for some people I know, and for others as well. But yeah. So now, make sure you watch this till the very end, and also subscribe for more tutorials. So what you have to do to fix this problem, I'm gonna show you now three or two methods, I think they are. Mm, two? Two, three, around three methods. So the first one, open the search bar, and here write the graphics settings. And here, click on best match and then here in graphics settings make sure you here in the search in the, in the search this list write black ops if you can't find a game here all you have to do is just add the uh, is just to add a game from the browse and just go where the game is downloaded where you download the game go to the location and add the game from there and then you'll be able to find a game here in this list now once you've done that make sure you click on the game click on options and then here make sure you select high performance this will ensure that your computer will use your GPU and this potentially will fix the crashing now let's move to the next step also make sure you go to power options edit power options in here click on power options and then click on high performance if you have this option if you don't have this option click on change plan settings click on uh, even if you are in balanced click on change power settings click change advanced power settings go to processor power settings and here make sure you write 100 percent and here 100 percent okay just change and write 100 percent all right and uh now the next step make sure you also go to windows Updates and here update your windows and also go to advanced options Go to optional updates and then here Go expand the driver updates and if there should have valuable driver a driver listed here Make sure you check the box and then you click on download and install. All right So I hope this tutorial helped you and you don't have this problem anymore also after you tried all the methods I showed you in this video and this, this tutorial, make sure you restart your computer, that's a must, and uh, make sure you leave your results in the comment section and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and I hope you're gonna have a fantastic day. Take care.